Okay, hi guys. What am I? I'm like holding that camera and getting a picture of my hand. Okay, so try not to jiggle this around in my hand. So I was telling you all about what happened when I died. Just kind of a quick review of what happened. Now, after 600 and some videos, I'm going to go into what I think are basic. There's three basic things that I think you really, really, really need to fully comprehend before you listen to any of my other videos for them to really make sense. And I'm going to go over the first one with this video. And the first one is that you are a god. Now, I've thought about this and thought about this, and I can see what most people are doing in their head. That y'all cannot comprehend that I mean God with a big G. I don't mean a little God. I don't mean an insignificant God. I mean a God with a big G, big O, big D. You have always been, and you will always be, this is a very, a little part that you are playing in your um, existence. You will go on and you will create things that are bigger than the, all the stars in the sky. Uh, you are capable of creating a universe with a mere part of a thought. Um, you are a powerful God and you are creating what you experience every moment of every day. This is you doing this. You are the one who is deciding what you experience, what is around you, and then others come and fill in the roles that you have set forth. So you set the vibration. You say what you are going to experience with your feelings. Feelings, those fleeting things that are vibrations. And you know that they're vibrations, guys, because when you, you can feel when somebody is in a good mood, whether they're smiling or not. You know if someone is angry, no matter what the look on their face is. Those are the vibrations that you send out as a God. Those vibrations are what translate into everything that is around you. Everything. Every moment of every day. And you really need to understand fully that you are the one that is creating this. You are the one that is deciding every moment of every day what you will experience. You just are. And that you are more than the human body that you see in the mirror, when you look in the mirror. There's way more of you than that. This is just one little tiny part of you and you've got more of you that's your higher self and that is a part of you it's not some separate entity that you call on guys when you are talking to your higher self it's you it's like you talking to yourself in the human body when you talk to yourself out loud or in your head that's the same thing as you talking to your higher self and that higher self as a part of you isn't meant for you to call on it and have it fix all your problems. That's not what uh, that part of you is doing. That part of you is up there kind of running the show from that perspective, not telling you what to do. Although based on what you agreed to do or what you wanted to do, what your idea of doing originally, your higher self will kind of nudge you It'll kind of think like it'll open a window or a door and then there'll be a fly on your nose and you'll turn towards the window or the door. That's the higher self. But it's only an option. At that point, you could see the, the door or the window and you can look out the window or walk through the door, but you don't have to. You don't have to, guys, because you are a god. You decide. And the higher self doesn't have all the answers you are here 
in, like Abraham says, the cutting edge, the beginning of, of this creationary game for you. You are the one that's in the driver's seat, so to speak. So what you can do with your higher self is, I suggest always, ask yes, no questions. Now, I'm really good at talking to my higher self, and we argue all the time, and he annoys the hell out of me, but if you really want um, your higher self to connect a little bit better, um, I suggest yes, no questions, and uh, they usually will answer yes, no questions, just about all the higher selves do. Now, that's a higher self that is outside the game. Your higher self that I'm talking about is outside of linear time space. So, when also when you're commun communicating with that part of you, just think part of you is in linear time space and another part of you is in now time. And they are connected. They are you. This isn't a separate entity. Cannot say that enough. Your higher self is you. But it is a part of you that is watching or whether well, that part of you is playing the game, but from a different perspective. And this part of you is playing the game from this perspective. And as a god, that is not hard to do at all. And there's so much more of you. But you really, 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 really need to wrap your head around that you are a god and that you have and will again create multiverses like creations on the other side so that you can understand and kind of negate all of that programming that you're just a lowly human that if you haven't been to MIT or Harvard, that you aren't smart enough. All of that is bullshit. All of it is absolute bullshit. It's programming. It's absolute programming. You need to get rid of that concept if you're going to listen to these videos. Otherwise, they won't make any sense right off the bat. You have to put your mind in gear. You have to expand your willingness to look at a much, much bigger picture, and you need to do that first. When you talk about meditating, you need to meditate on the fact that you were a god and that you want to understand what that means. That you truly want to see, feel, and know what that means to be a god. Because once you get your brain around that, once you truly begin to understand that you're a god, a lot of the fear goes away. Because if you are faced with a difficult situation, you can go, um, I am the one that created that. So why did I create that? How did I create that? There's not fear. There's just more like, uh, I don't like that. I don't want to do it again. So you can look at it just much more reasonably. Instead of being caught up in what you think is life and death and the only life there is, you can pull back and see it for what it is. And that's simply another play, another movie, another video game, uh, whatever it is that you relate to, that you are playing a role. And you've heard this before from other people, that you are a god in a human skin suit playing a role. And this is so, so true. But that's pretty much where they stop. And what I need you to do is go further than that and say, okay, I understand that you guys know that you're a god in a human skin suit. What I need you to do is come out of the skin suit, okay? Don't stay there. I, told, I just told you you're playing a role. So don't think of yourself in that role. Okay? If you're going to listen and mm, kind of uh, grasp or understand or use the, the information that I have to tell you, it is from the perspective of a god. It is not from the perspective of a human. If you want to affect change using human techniques then you need to go watch somebody else not me because what i have to explain to you it is absolutely imperative 
that you comprehend as much as you can uh, on the God that you are. And that means not being overly concerned with this play acting that you're doing as a human. Okay? So this play acting that you're doing with as a human, you could be anything. Um, you could be um, a, a drug addict, prostitute, living on the streets, totally addicted. You could be uh, president of the United States. You could be uh, anyone, anyone. It doesn't matter. In this particular game, this particular movie, there are no stars, okay? There are no stars in this movie. Everybody has equal billing. Every single uh, creator god that's playing a role as a human being, or anything else for that matter, but let's talk about humans, they all have equal billing. You are not put on this planet in human form to change the world because you can't do it as a human you you can change an area and it might ha reverberate over the years but that is very very slow process very very slow process if you want to affect change in your life then you have to understand number one that you are a powerful god and you are capable of incredible things that has to come first. You have to really, really understand that. And it doesn't matter what all the other gods are doing in their human skin suits. It has nothing whatsoever to do with you. Absolutely nothing. The only way that those other humans in those skin suits can affect you is if you believe they can. And the second that you remember because you're not really going to learn anything you're going to remember the god self that you are then you realize that that they cannot affect you because you can't you you these are not gods like the greek and roman gods i'm talking an all-powerful all-knowing omnificent can do anything god that's who you are there is no one above you. There is no one below you. There is only other gods playing with you. And if you get caught up in playing the role of a human, then you really probably shouldn't be watching my videos. Because I'm talking to people who have curiosity about what's outside this role of being human okay if you want to get really into the game of playing the role of a human uh, that you want to be a better actor if you want to get into it I am not the person to be watching because that is not what I have to say what I have to say is to explain to you why you're really here and why you're really here does not have anything to do with this human skin suit. Okay? Right? You can have the experience of being a human. Uh, that takes very, very little of your God self. It does not take much to be in the moment and to experience what a human is experiencing, even in linear time space. There's just not that much consciousness that is needed to take in five senses that are human senses. It really doesn't take much of your energy to do that. It really doesn't. If you stop and really look at things, if you take away all the fear of what if, or what if it happens again, or what if it happens, or what if it happens to the kids, or what if, it, what if, what if, if you take the what ifs out of your life, and if you really, really look at the human life for, for what it is, it really is pretty simple. And uh, they really get into delving, uh, a long-term human or a human really gets into really savoring all those simple things that are in a human's life. Uh, but if you want to do that, really, I am not, uh, that's not me. That's not me. I'm not an expert as the, at the human game. What I'm here to tell people about is, for those that are curious about what happens when you die, 
a long-term human, human, or a starseed, then I can tell you all about that. But mostly, I'm here to talk to the starseeds, and I've talked to a lot of you in the last few months, and it was lovely to meet every single one of you. Um, I'm so excited uh, about the energy that you're you're blossoming into, especially since June, January 1st, because everybody really has been on a crossroads on January 1st, and you had to decide which way to go, and this is a major crossroad issue for just about everyone, whether they realize it or not, which is why I decided to start these videos over, so that I could really speak pretty firmly on these important issues. That if you're a starseed and you feel lost and alone and you don't have the hang of this, um, I'm here to tell you that it's a difficult, it's, it's a, there's not a whole lot of data that comes in during human life, but driving this skin suit is very complex. Knowing exactly how much energy to put into this um, skin suit and what it's doing moment by moment to figure out how linear time space is working whenever you're a now time person that's the trick so it's it's complicated but it doesn't take up a whole lot of of your consciousness of your god self okay yeah it's very very complex but it doesn't take up think like okay a hundred percent is all of the energy that you have as a god Okay, and you've got about 3% of it down here in your, this human body in this particular timeline talking or listening to me right now, um, give or take. So you've got a whole lot more of you out doing other things. Okay, you are a god. You are very good at multitasking. Okay, but you cannot, you are in a game that is linear time space based. And because it's based on that and it's set up with certain rules and belief systems that are taught to people, there is a requirement for many lifetimes to really get the hang of it. And the more lifetimes you do in this kind of dense physicality, the better you get at it. It's just the way it is. That's what happens in linear time space. That is not true in now time but it is in linear time space because linear time space is up down start finished um black white um you start as a baby you end up growing up the whole thing is based on that kind of thinking that start to finish and so is uh, being able to run this human skin suit it's based on that too very deeply deeply involved now, because the, the more, the funny thing is, the more spiritual you are, the more enlightened you are, um, everything that I see is the more enlightened you are, the less energy goes into running the skin suit, so it's not done as well, you know? It seems to be like one or the other, so people leave the, um, the skin suit behind to be enlightened uh, and, and really they should be driving the skin suit. Uh, somebody needs to drive. So be careful guys. Don't get so into leaving in this enlightened meditative state that there's no consciousness left to run the skin suit. Um, if you are meant to be an NPC, you will not be watching these videos. You won't know that you're an NPC. This will be a whole different thing. If you're watching these videos, that means that you need to have a certain amount of your focus on running the skin suit. Okay? And the information that comes in through it, it's not really what is around. It's controlling this skin suit and the vibrations that come out of it. Okay? That's the tricky part. And that is the part that most of you have questions about. Most of you have questions about the comfort of this skin suit. So there's two questions that most people have. Is, is questions that are around what's going on with this particular skin suit. Whether it's people that are interacting with this skin suit. Or the health of this skin suit. 
it has to do with around this skin suit and then the other end of the scale is this enlightenment the other side wanting information about that and there's very little questions or very few questions in between which I find fascinating really that's that whole up down black white um, thing that goes on with linear time space that is weird uh, very weird whenever you're used to now time okay so hopefully and I might decide to do even more I might decide to say even more so I can get it through to you guys that you are a God an all-powerful God and that there's way more to you than this and that you have to really own that in order to have your questions answered if you want to know what what you're doing you have to own that you're a god if you want to understand truly law of attraction which i'll get into next you have to own that you are god you have to own that so that everything that is going on around you is with your consent you are doing it uh, you have agreed to it you have created it with your vibrations whether you understand it or not okay it's kind of like that you know the judge if you go before the judge and um, you get pulled up over for a ticket because you didn't know the speed limit was 40 miles an hour and you were driving 60 and they give you a ticket for it you go before the judge and the judge doesn't care if you say well I didn't know that it was 40 the judge is going to say it's your responsibility to know it's 40. And I'm saying to you, if you want to understand what I have to say from going to the other side and back, you have to take responsibility as a God that everything that is happening in your life, everything is your doing. Your doing. And if you don't like it, you can fix it. I'm not saying it's easy to fix, but you are a god and you can do it. There's no reason to be afraid anymore. It's just a matter of practice now. But you're not going to get it by calling on another god, another angel, uh, a grandmother, uh, a, a totem of some sort. You, you are not going to make things happen you're not going to fix the ultimate issue by calling on one of those guys. Ultimately, that is going to fail. It has all for this whole time, and it will continue to. If you want to know how things work, if you want to know what my videos really mean, or um, if you want to go where I went, then the first step is to really own that you are a god and really, really mean it. So that is, um, that is your assignment first, is really, I mean, go on the internet and look at the earth from space, look at our solar system, look at all of the universes and understand that you, absolutely you, can with a thought create everything that you find in a blink of an eye, less than that. That's all you got to do. That is who you really are. That is who you really are outside of this game. So you really not need to start really feeling that. You know, take those deep breaths and feel yourself expanding. They've got that on that meditation stuff. Feel yourself expanding and taking in the room and then the town and our city and state and world and universe you know make yourself bigger see if you can blow that out and just start really stretching yourself to understand that you're a god okay will you do that for me okay because that really really uh, really needs to be understood i think if we go through these abc's and I really explained to you that you've got to know that first. Then a lot of the silly questions that cannot be answered later on in my videos um, won't be asked. Because 
if you if you start out knowing that you're creating all this whether you're consciously doing it or subconsciously doing it whether you set it up beforehand or not you are still moment to moment doing it from here okay and you are in charge of that all right so let's do that first all right first of all you're a god okay all right guys huge hugs hugs huge hugs hugs huge hugs and i'll see y'all later love you bye